my mid-2010 iMac computer that I do my editing on, and I do my writing on, and I do pretty much everything on. The thing is, is it's kind of dragging slow. I use a lot of Photoshop for the blog, and I use video editing software, and so I decided it's time to add some more RAM to it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I've done this with a couple of Macs in the past. First thing you do, go up here to the corner, ask it about this Mac. Tell me, Mac. Oh, we're on Yosemite. And up here, we've got memory. This will show you what we have. Two gigs, two gigs. These are the four slots available. And we only have two of them full, and there's two gigs each. So I'm going to add a four gig of RAM card to each one of these four slots, adding this thing up to 16 gigs, which is four times what it currently has, which should be great for Photoshop and Final Cut and all that stuff. So let's do that. Okay, so I've turned the computer upside down. If you don't have laundry baskets, consider propping it up on maybe your wife or a cat or whatever you have available. This is where we're going to get into to get the memory slots out. Make sure it's unplugged first before you do this part. Alright, so I've taken the three little screws and loosened them up. This is what it looks like on the inside. This little tab here was folded down in here. You pull these tabs like this. And that, see that's the, that's the chip set right there that you want to get out. So you give it a little pull and it frees up the chip and you can pull it out. So that's the old one. Then I have these new ones here from Otherworld Computing, which is a reputable place that has all kinds of memory. And we're going to take this other one out and stick all these guys in here. Before I put the new guy in there, there's the old chip. There's the new one. Very carefully. And I just got to do it three more times. All right, I've put the chips in, very carefully pressed them into place, and then curled back the removal tabs so they fit back in there the way they were. And we're going to screw that bottom panel back on, start this thing up, and see how it performs. Let's power this baby up, see what happens. I wasn't going to start for a second there. Come on, you can do it. Still going? Still alive? It's got to think, oh, what is going on here? Why do I have so much more brains? It's like flowers for Algernon. Okay, we have powered back up. Go back over to the Apple again. Ask about this Mac. There we go. Over here to memory. And now it's showing four gigs in each one of those slots. So that's really cool. Let's go down here and pull open Photoshop. Should load a lot faster. Of course, you haven't seen me load it before, so you don't know how slow it was or how excruciating. Yep, that's a lot faster. <laughs> Very cool. This picture I was working on for the blog. Yeah, let's just cut big holes in it. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. I love it. Look, I can destroy a whole picture in seconds now. All right, so anyhow, that is how you pop new chips into your old Mac and make it fast. This thing has uh, now got the same amount of RAM as my new MacBook, so very happy about that, and I think it's going to help a lot with my video editing and all that other stuff. If you enjoy my videos and you want to see some more gardening stuff, which is not really related to computer stuff, subscribe to this channel and like my videos, and I will see you online at thesurvivalgardener.com.